With Canada's largest city in the midst of political transition, Toronto has been thinking a lot about the final days of Mayor David Miller's tenure and the outlook of the next four years. Today we are here at City Hall to meet the man who's been leading Toronto for the majority of our decade. Well, I'll tell you what I've done that, that I'm proud of, a transit city I'm very proud of because you have these moments once every 30 years in our history, in our city, that's the history. And uh, it's underway. We've also had uh, massive investments in transit, um, biggest increase in bus service in the TTC's history, and then a second time. Um, and uh, TTC's become much more user friendly with all these new um, technology things we're doing. Like, for example, you can stand at a streetcar stop now, bus stop soon, and text, and you'll get told when the next one's actually coming. Not when it's scheduled to come, when it's actually coming. Called Next Bus, all sorts of stuff. I'm very proud of that. I'm proud of our environmental leadership. I'm proud of the fact that we built 63 new daycare centers. You know, it gets very little attention, but really matters for working families. Um, the ability to ensure that their children have early learning opportunities. I'm proud of the fact that in recession, we reached out to people that had the least and found them jobs. You know, we had a whole package of programs in the recession last year that were significantly important. Um, and uh, you know, I'm proud of the fact we've built social housing. And I, I hope that people see that uh, I ran to be an activist mayor, and I was. I did everything I could to be the kind of mayor I promised people I would be. Um, one of the things that, that probably is a little obscure for people, but I do want to mention, is how hard we worked to ensure that Ottawa and Queen's Park invested in Canada's cities. Um, and that's paid off, and all of the investments of the TTC and other investments, we didn't have the money to do that. And we um, were able to do it through some very smart work with other mayors. And I sort of built on that in my international leadership. I was lucky to be chosen the chair of the C40. We had a huge presence in Copenhagen last year, saying to the nations of the world, look what cities are doing. You know, they're investing in jobs and in fighting climate change. Um, if uh, nations can work with us, we can do even more. So uh, I'm, you know, all of that I'm proud of. Um, I tried to be, uh, well, I did, I stuck to my principles. Um, for better or worse, and I, that's the kind of politician not only I wanted to be, it's the kind of politician I vote for, somebody who sticks to who they are. Despite speculation of a third term run, Miller surprised many by announcing he would not be a contender in Toronto's heated municipal election. Well, I'm looking forward, uh, from personal perspective, to uh, um, a new life. Um, it's exciting to have new opportunities, and I'm, you know, I'm very interested in uh, creating jobs through the right environmental policy and I've been working on that internationally and I'd like to build on that. So that excites me. I've also actually been to see my son's hockey games. You know, he won the league championship last year. They almost won the championship in soccer. And this year, because I wasn't running the election, I was able to go. Um, I was able to go watch my daughter referee a soccer game. I was able to go to her soccer game. She's a goalie. And I don't recommend that for anybody, to be the parent of a goalie, okay? Because um, uh, when they go to penalties, oh gosh, it's nerve-wracking. But I never could do those things. It wasn't possible. And I grew up without a father. And one of the things I always said to myself was, if I have children, I'm going to be a really good dad. And all of a sudden, my kids were 14 and 12. And, it, you know, I'd never been home. And uh, I felt I was letting them down and myself down. So I, I've, I, I mean, it's been really great year for me from that perspective personally.